Let's now solve this equation for x. And notice this particular equation contains decimals in it. If you'd like, you can work with the decimals. Simply begin by using the distributive property, multiplying as usual. There's an alternate method if you'd like. You can multiply through by a multiple of 10 so that you no longer have decimal numbers. For example, if I multiply this by 10, the net result is moving the decimal point one place to the right and thus then having an integer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to multiply every single term by 10. Remember, it has to be every single term by the multiplication property of equality. Now, if I multiply this by 10, because this will be multiplied by these two expressions or these two uh, terms within the parentheses, I will, in effect, have multiplied all terms here by 10. So this by 10, it becomes negative 3 times x minus 4. This by 10 becomes 10x equals, and then this by 10, 5 times 3 minus x. Again, I've taken care of what's inside parentheses because it will be multiplied by this 5, which was earlier multiplied by 10. Now let's continue. That's negative 3x plus 12 plus 10x is equal to 15 minus 5x. Again, using the distributive property. Do I have any like terms? Yes, I do on the left side. Negative 3x plus 10x, that is 7x plus 12, is equal to 15 minus 5x. I'm going to add 5x to both sides. So here's my left side, 7x plus 12, I'll add 5x. Here's my right side, and I'll add 5x. Notice what happens, the left side, 7x plus 5x, that's 12x plus 12, is equal to these subtract out like I want, and I have 15. And now let me subtract 12 from both sides. So the left side, 12x plus 12 minus 12 is equal to 15 minus 12. The left side is 12x, the right side is 3. Notice I've got variables on one side, numbers on the other, and now let's finish solving by dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 12. So x is 3 over 12, and if I simplify that, I will have 1 over 4. There is my solution. Since I started with decimals, you could write that as a decimal number. One-fourth is the same as 25 hundredths. Either one is fine.